weekend. Give me a moment. I am self-moderating the show again this week, you guys. So I just need to get our Instagram up and running and set up real quick. Then we will dive right into it. But say hi. Let me know if you're here nice and early. I see a few of you guys. So thank you for being here. I'm just going to get Instagram set up. You guys will see me hopping out of frame a lot because I have to bend over to go on my laptop. Um... There we go, and perfect. All right, Instagram friends, hi, hello, how are you? And happy Thursday. Unfortunately, I will not be able to see your comments or your presence over on Instagram. The live is actually happening on our website. So do please head on over to www.luxurypremise.com. That's where I'm actually live, able to see you guys for the next two hours. And that is how you will be able to shop, chat, interact, all those good things. So welcome every, every <laughs> I can't talk. Welcome in everybody. Happy Thursday. I hope you all are doing amazing. I hope you're having a great week so far. It is a very gloomy, very rainy, moist day here in New York City. My hair, I was so proud of it this morning. It looked sleek. It looked good. And then I stepped outside and the rain got the best of me. So ignore the frizz. You know, you just got to roll with the punches with the crazy almost springtime weather. It's so unpredictable. Also on top of that today, you guys, near the office here in New York City, I guess Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton, some other, like a bunch of presidents or presidential candidates are a couple blocks away from me. So there is an excess of sirens. The streets are crazy today. So I do apologize in advance for that. I had no clue that was happening today until I was on my way in when my mom texted me. She's like, did you know that like the presidents are going to be near you today? I was like, what are you talking about? No. So she was right. They are over there and sirens galore all day today. <laughs> but I digress. Welcome in, you guys. I'm so excited for this show. Today, the theme is kind of two things at once. So I did want to focus on quiet luxury and some more neutral, quiet, everyday options. But I also just kind of leaned into the neutral vibe. Oh, it was Bill Clinton. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Um, we have some neutral vibes, some true classics, and just some really exciting pieces. This is a really great show. If you guys are after some handbags, I have a little bit of something for everybody today. I'm very, very excited about it. So I'm going to go over our opening spiel of a deal, and then we're going to get right into it. So first and foremost, you guys, anything that is purchased during my live show today will promptly be shipping out of New York City tomorrow. Um, we accept all major forms of payment here at Luxury Promise, so credit cards, debit cards, Apple Pay, and PayPal are all good to go, but pro tip that Apple Pay is the quickest way to check out, just so you know. Um, and last but not least, shipping. So if you are a USA or Canada-based customer, if you're in North America, since I'm in New York City, you are considered um, domestic during my shows, so shipping is actually cheaper for you at 15 pounds. For my friends who are outside of North America, all of my international kings and queens and everyone in between, shipping will be 35 pounds for you guys. But of course, if you do purchase during the live show, your customs and your duties are covered. So that is the opening spiel. In addition to that, you guys, I am self-moderating the show today. If you are unfamiliar with what that entails, essentially all these items you see on the shelves behind me, everything that's included in my show today is actually already live and active on the website. To preview everything I have, you can click on the handbag icon down below, scroll through. If you see something that you like, if anything catches your eye, shout it out to me so I can show it as a priority. Because when I do self-moderate, it is first come, first serve. Some people will swoop in and pick up items like a phantom in the night out of nowhere. So just so you know, any of these items can be purchased at any given moment. Just so you know. Vicky, how are you, darling? Good to see you here. Happy Thursday. Happy almost Easter, you guys. Easter is my favorite holiday, hence why I'm going home for the holiday. I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I leave. My flight leaves at 8 a.m. roughly tomorrow, so I will be up and at them at like 3.45 a.m. to hop in the car at 4 a.m. So I'm not looking forward to that, but it'll be worth it. Hopefully I can sleep on the plane. But yes. Okay. With that being said, you guys, shout out any requests at any given moment if you do have them. I'm going to start with some cheeky deals. Just I have a good amount of bags today where the pricing is just like, what? Like, hello? Come again? So I'm going to start with a crazily priced Chanel bag that I think is super, super cute, super on trend. If you're someone who wears a lot of brown colors, this one will be for you. Hi, Georgia. 
Georgia, tonight is all bags, unfortunately, my friend. Once I am back from California next week, I will be back having my regular jewelry show on Saturdays. So I can definitely bring some diamond pieces next Saturday once I am back. But today is all things bags and small leather goods. Okay, so let's start with this crazy deal for a Chanel bag. <laughs> That's my exactly. <laughs> I mean it lovingly. And of course, that was my pleasure. I'm so happy you picked it up. It was such a good one. As you saw, it was a hot, hot commodity and you were the lucky duck who secured it. So I am so proud of you for going for it. And I cannot wait for you to receive it. Sasha, how are you, darling? Happy Thursday. Thank you for being here. Alrighty, guys, I'm going to get the Chanel pinned. I'm going to pin and put the price up and then talk about the item. Um, if that is okay with you guys, it's kind of a little bit harder for me to self moderate on a show with bags, but I still, we're going to make it work. But first of all, look at this price point. What is this? <laughs> so we are kicking off the show. I think this is so cute. Hi, Melissa. Happy Thursday. How are you? I think this is darling and it is such a good price point, you guys. So our first piece of the evening is going to be the Chanel brown aged calfskin leather lady braid bowler bag. It is the yummiest, richest shade of deep chocolate brown paired with ruthenium hardware. Look at this ruthenium CC you get to the front and then the top handles on this are puffy and braided with the chain intertwined in them. It's roughly the size, I would say like a speedy 35 if you guys are familiar with the Louis Vuitton pieces. I'd say you could fit the same amount as a Speedy 35, maybe even a 40, because this does have multiple compartments, which I am loving. It is stuffed up right now, but when it's unstuffed with not all this bubble wrap inside of it, you can comfortably fit it on your shoulder as a shoulder bag. Um, but let me give you guys a 360. So if you haven't heard me preach about calfskin leather from Chanel before, I'm going to bring it up again. It's my favorite leather choice you can make from Chanel. I find it to be the most hardy, the most long lasting and kind of carefree material. You're still getting leather, but you don't have to baby it. And it stays looking really good because by nature, the design already allows it to look a little bit aged just in the texture of it, but it is quite puffy. So here is a 360 look at that. And I love all of these little rivets all have CCs on them. Just a really cool, well thought out bag. The base of the bag is all calfskin as well with five ruthenium hardware feet. I'm just looking over the corners. One out of four corners has a very tiny amount. I wouldn't even call that rub. It's just the leather is a little bit more light just on one corner. So this bag actually has three <laughs> inner compartments. Once you open her up, you can see the main section to the interior, but you also have these two side pockets. So let's dive into the side pockets to see. Quite sizable for these side pockets with black canvas lining. So that one is nice and clean. The zippers all say Chanel on them. Let's check the other pocket. All right, other pocket, nice and clean, black lining. And then the main event is the large middle pocket that has this loop of calfskin leather as your zip pull. I think this is just a really cool bag. Maybe it's just me, but I thought this was a great steal for like an everyday neutral Chanel bag. All right, so main compartment, black canvas, multiple pockets. The main compartment has a little bit of a mark to the bottom, but it is quite minor overall, I would say. There's your inner Chanel logo. And overall, it's nice and clean. I would give this probably like an 8.9 out of 10 condition level overall. Now that it's unstuffed, I wanna demonstrate it on the shoulder for you guys. So you can see it is comfortable, cute size, not too big, not too small, just right and a really nice color. So for our first bag of the day, under a thousand pounds for this bad boy, it is priced at 945 pounds. That is roughly 1,195 US dollars. Absolute steal. All right, so that was our first piece of the day. I'm gonna hit you guys with a, another early bird special from Louis Vuitton up next. Unless of course there's any requests so far. <laughs> okay, also I have a good amount of neutral wallets today if anyone is in need of a wallet. 
But let's go for this sock plot up next. This is literally cheaper than a wallet for this bag that I'm about to show. So let me get her pinned and get the price up. Let's see. Oh, this price is crazy. This is the best price sack plot I have had, period. <laughs> so this is the Louis Vuitton Damier Abend sack plat top handle bag so it's essentially designed to kind of look and function like a shopping bag would where you just have your top handles it's quite slim in its profile but it is a nice large rectangular shape so you can fit a laptop all your kind of work essentials inside of here i'll do the lady dior next for you melissa let me know i have a few dior bags today they're all great prices the lady dior is a huge deal but honestly, all of them are huge deals. So let me know which one because I have the Lady Dior and I also have two um, navy monogram oblique bag options. But I'll do whatever one you want next, of course. Okay, so let me unstep this and talk you guys through this piece. So you get smooth brown leather top handles, which are in an excellent condition level on this. Again, a large rectangular shape. Coated canvas, Damier printed exterior. This bag, the price of this bag is like <laughs> crazy to me because the condition is really good. There's light little corner wear, I would say. Just to call out, it's super duper minor, but it is physically there. So of course I'm gonna call that out to you guys. You can add a long strap too if you want to, to these hardware bits. However, it's not designed to come with one, but I think this is just, just a really chic running around the city, laptop, water bottle just your essentials for work. See, not absolutely. You guys, I'll do all three Dior bags next. We'll do a Dior little trio moment because <laughs> they're all great. So the inside of the bag is all red suede lining and it is literally spotless in here. That's why the price is such a puzzlement to me in all honesty. I feel like this could have easily been like 600 pounds, but it is not. So you get two pockets up here. This piece is made in France um lv multicolor bag i don't have a multicolor bag in today's show is it not let me know if you know the SKU. i can check um to see what location it is at but i don't have it today all the pieces i have today are under the handbag icon so you are able to kind of preview and see what i have on hand but i don't think i have a multicolor today okay so the sack flat is up and she is available for literally just 480 pounds. Got you, Zinat. So I'm assuming you might be new, Zinat. Let me know if that's the case. But within Luxury Promise, we are a global company with products all over the world. So our headquarters are in London. I'm in New York City. We have Australia, Canada, Dubai, Japan, Singapore. I think that's everybody. But we have different offices around the world. So we don't have access to all of the product that you see on the website, depending which show that you're on, if that makes sense. Nilsa, how are you, my love? Happy Thursday. All right, so 480 pounds for this one, and that is roughly 607 US dollars. Let me know if there are any questions. We're gonna run through our three. Shirley, how are you, queen? Happy Thursday. Happy almost Easter, guys. We're gonna run through our three Dior bags today gonna start with the lady dior then i'll do the monogram oblique pieces right after this lady dior is a insane price <laughs> like literally actually a little silly if you know you know okay let me grab her i think it's gorgeous this is a color i personally have not had in before and again if you're a neutral type of girly this color is so good. It kind of reminds me of like a biscuit is the way I would describe it. But this is our large old school model with the zip top patent leather Lady Dior. She is insane. Oh, thank you, Nilsa. Yeah, it's definitely the main thing about self-moderating is it just requires a lot of extra prep work ahead of the time. But once you're actually doing it and get used to doing it, it's not bad at all. I don't mind it at all. I kind of like, 
I kind of like being able to like be my own whole showrunner. It's kind of nice, but it is a lot of prep work. So I appreciate it. Isn't this good, Melissa? So this is on the vintage side, you guys, but for being a vintage Lady Dior, the condition and the price on this is just like too good to be true. So nice and clean patent leather. For You hear the sirens, you guys. I blame the presidents. If you guys weren't here at the start of the show, a couple US presidents are a couple blocks away doing something today. So the sirens are off the charts. <laughs> Happy Easter, Terry. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Happy Thursday. All right, so here is the bottom. You have the five feet to protect it. Corners, I'm just looking over with my eyes. There is no scuffing, no corner rub, no scratching to this patent leather. The only thing I would say, again, we're keeping in mind that she is vintage, is that there's going to be some hairline scratches just on the hardware. So it's not super shiny. It doesn't have seals on. So just some very normal expected hairline scratches to the charms and the hardware. But overall, I'm very impressed with this exterior, especially for this price point, you guys. If you are unfamiliar with your prices, hi, AP. Happy Thursday. Yes, D, I love that. If you guys are unfamiliar with your prices, in another tab on your phone or your laptop, go to the website, look at Lady Dior retail prices. They're like four times the amount of what I have this for. Um, Fifi, if it doesn't say in the description that I don't, I won't be able to know an exact date. Um, but if you click on below, you'll see all the description details come up. I think it should be in there, but I would imagine this is early 2000s. So let me show you guys the inside. It does have the old school model zip top with the CD gold hardware charm as your zip pull. I personally prefer the zip top. I find it easier to get in and out of, especially in larger sizes. This is such a good bag. Someone needs this. Look at the interior. So you get like a neutral, almost like gold toned. Yes. Thank you, Cherry. So confirm 2011 is the year on this Fifi 2011. Thank you, Sasha as well. So you have a pristine clean canvas Dior oblique print lining for your bag with one large zip pocket as well so part of the reason the price is so low is there is no long strap included but the savings are unreal on this i'm giving this like gosh i want to give it a very 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 good vintage condition i am tempted to give it an excellent vintage condition but just to be fair take my word very very good vintage condition level on this lady dior and the price is like a very rare opportunity i do not get lady dior's in for this price point literally ever and i don't think anyone else in any of our other locations really do so definitely one to consider guys this one is up and available for 1450 pounds that is crazy literally this could be priced at 2450 pounds and it would still make sense like that would still be an acceptable market price by all means so in us dollars it's not even 2000 us dollars that is crazy this is 1,800 and roughly 33 USD. One to consider, guys. Keep her on the top of your mind. Let me know if there are any questions, but I'm going to follow it with my other two Dior bags that I have for you today. Okay, let's do the saddle sling bag up next because this is also a crazy deal compared to its retail price. So this next bag retails from Dior for three thousand five hundred U.S. dollars. I'm not even at two thousand dollars on it, so another great deal for you guys. This is so cute, first of all. <laughs> but this is our navy accru oblique Dior canvas saddle bag. So this is more of like kind of a unisex, really cool, really sleek messenger style take on a Dior saddle silhouette, which I am really enjoying. So you have a canvas strap that says Christian Dior all over it. It is hyper adjustable, so you can have it up short as like up here on your body as a cross. You can do it long for a proper long cross body. You could even get away with wearing this as a belt bag. So kind of a two in one situation. I absolutely adore this. I wanna try to adjust the strap to be longer real quick for you guys, just so we can I'm so bad at adjusting straps. Ever since I was a kid, I can like never, <laughs> it never clicked in my brain, this mechanism. So let me try. There we go. Okay, that is gonna be good enough. We're gonna make, make do. 
but essentially you can do it longer than this and have it facing either way but it is more of like a unisex sling bag style from Dior so the exterior is full canvas monogram oblique and the navy colorway with pebbled leather on the strap and little accents the sides of the bag also done in leather but the front is where you get another layered saddle detail so instead of the whole bag being a saddle shape you get the front flap which is in the shape of a saddle also a front pocket that's paying homage to the saddle bag so exterior condition is absolutely fantastic on this you get the cd initials engraved into the hardware so this is actually a little hidden flap that you can tuck in here then you have this little secret zip pocket which i just think is so so cute so you can put like some cards in here it's just an itty bitty baby pocket if you will <laughs> but you can actually tuck that in for extra security so the main compartment is a magnetic button strap that will open up like so you have leather lining the inner flap in excellent condition so let me unstuff her and then this is just going to be a single pocket interior nice and simple would fit any size phone with ease only thing to keep in mind is that it is a quite slim profile of a bag so you can't super stuff her up but you can do phone wallet keys some makeup earphones all of those things but overall this is like true excellent condition very confident nine out of ten i would say and again this retails for three thousand five hundred us dollars today i have her ready to go priced at one thousand three hundred and ninety five pounds and that is 1,700 and roughly 64 US dollars. All right, so our third Dior option, I will show you guys next so you can make an educated decision between the three of them. Um, let me get it up. All right, there we go. Perfect, so this is probably the most like actually not probably this is the most current and probably most recognizable of the bags today this is our dior bags today i should say but this is another navy monogram oblique piece from dior it is known as the um 30 montan chain bag so it is two-way you can double it up as a shoulder or wear it as a crossbody but the reason it's called the montan is because that is actually the first address of the first dior boutique so you have the address kind of peeking out of this back pocket it says 30 montan as a nod to the brand's history so you get navy blue leather monogram oblique navy canvas paired with shiny gold hardware so the exterior body of this bag again i would say is in excellent excellent condition i love that you get the leather trim too just a very sophisticated looking piece looking at the corners no corner wear detected only thing I would say for the exterior condition wise is just some typical hairline scratches to the hardware because it doesn't have the seals on it, but it is very, very minor. So let me show you what it looks like on. Again, you can easily pop your phone in this back pocket for easy in and out. I love the look of this as a shoulder bag. It's really, really nice. But you can also pull it through. You have a little bit of adjustability with this leather strip up here. And that will allow you to wear her as a crossbody. So again, for height reference, I'm five foot six. That's how she would look on me. A little bit higher, like it's not super duper long. This is actually my absolute preferred crossbody length. I like when it hits me right about here. So it's really chic on. You can have it off to the side too, out of your way. Very comfortable to carry. So let's dive inside. I love this one though. So to get in and out, there's like a little button hiding under the middle of the CD. So you just push that and you can pull it open. So again, you have the oblique pattern underneath your top flap there. Let me unstuff her. And then I'd say you have about the same amount of room inside of this bag as you would probably like a medium Chanel classic flap. So you could get a long wallet in here, like a notebook, your phone, headphones, pretty much everything you need for just a little day trip out or night out you have an inner zip pocket there as well and this interior is nice and clean so this is another bag just for the light hairline scratches I'll give this like probably like an 
out of 10, I want to give it a 9, but I will keep it fair and square and be critical as I like to be. So let's give her an 8.9 out of 10. To the naked eye, to the untrained eye, you would look at this and think you just purchased it like last week. It looks really good in excellent condition. So with all of that being said, my third Dior bag that I have today is up and available for 2,935 pounds. And that is 3,700 and roughly 11 US dollars. So thank you guys. Those of you who were requesting Dior. Those are the options for today, so let me know if there are any questions, and if not, I'm going to keep moving and grooving, but of course, if any of you guys have any requests at any point, shout it out, let me know, and I'll be happy to show you what you want to see. So, what should we do next? Let's do... There's so many good pieces here today. I want to bring out my favorite, favorite Chanel bag that I have up next, because I cannot stop obsessing over it, truthfully. It's too cool. So this next bag is from Chanel's 2017 Cruise Collection, and it has been kept in an immaculate condition level since then. So this piece is coming with its box dust bag and authenticity card. I think this is just such a good solution. If you feel like you need something more neutral and kind of muted to pair with your outfits, but you don't want to sacrifice still having a playful style and still having a little bit of a pop of color, this is the perfect solution for you in the form of a Chanel bag. So this is our 17 Cruise Collection White Multicolor Quilted Lambskin Small Cuba Color Flap Bag from Chanel. So predominantly, it's giving white, but upon closer inspection, you get literally a rainbow of colors featured on this bag. I think this is so fun for upcoming spring, summer. If you're going on any trips, I think this is a super easy bag to style, but again, it still has a ton of personality to it, which I really appreciate. So it's paired with silver hardware, which I think is a cool choice. You have this like resin coral color surrounding the CC. And then all of the hardware rivets also have resin color pops. So you get red and green here pink and yellow here, orange and black here, and blue and like a chartreuse toned green here. So all different colors to the top of the bag. You have a soft peachy orange as your leather comfort strip on the straps, yellow pocket to the back, and then the sides of the bag, you get orange, again that peachy color, green, more orange but the piping is like a full on rainbow situation that's tying all of these pops of color together. I love this. I've never had something like this in. I wanna know what you guys think about it. Cause again, when you're wearing it, it still kind of reads to me at least as a neutral bag. It's not reading crazy color explosion. It's reading neutral, but it's still giving the pop that it needs to give. Um, Mel, let me know the skew. I don't have any jewelry pulled today. So I'm going to say no, um, but let me know the skew if you can so I can take a look and see where it's located. Okay, so you also can pull the strap through to convert her to be a crossbody as well. This one's gonna be a little bit longer than the Dior bag was. So it looks really nice on as a cross. So overall exterior condition is fantastic. There's no marks, no color transfer to the white leather nothing to report and i'm just gonna look over the corners one more time no she's in a pristine exterior condition so let's dive inside turn lock feature underneath the flap you get the stitching of the cc and you have a full nice clean white front of the bag as well and then the interior is just going to be all black and it is this bag literally is kind of giving unused vibes to me there's no indication of where um only thing is it doesn't have its seals on comes with its hard card box and dust bag so this is going to get like a 9.5 out of 10 condition level for me it is beautiful absolutely a collector's piece especially if you love cruise pieces this one is from 2017 and she is up she is available for 3,915 pounds, and that is 4,950 US dollars. Really, really cool Chanel bag. This is one of the most like 
to me at least this bag got me super excited it's one of the most exciting bags i've had in recently from chanel i think it's so fun and unexpected and i've never seen anyone with this piece before so let me know if there's any questions she's a winner in my eyes but we're gonna keep moving all right so again it's supposed to be a neutral show but i couldn't um now let me know if you're new too um but if you click on the item you in the description should be seeing the SKU. um again if you are new luxury promise is a global company so we have our stock that you see on the website is spread across all of our locations so i might not necessarily have it um so i'll need to check on the back end to see where it's located or you can just copy and paste the name of the item into chat and i can look it up on our back end stock keeping system to see if i can find it but yeah hopefully hopefully i'll be able to help moyer i know perfect color hearts for that bag Okay, but yes, as I was saying, I couldn't help but throw in some color pops today because they were new arrivals, stuff that I know a lot of you guys are after. So I'm going to bring out an Alma BB up next, which is a really fun, special one for you guys in a color I have not had before. I love this strap so much. This one is really exciting. So, Chanel, Purple Stone, Crystal Pearl. Oh, I do think I have that one, Mel. Uh, Vivian, for every item, let me know which item you're after. I feel like we have a lot of new people here today. I'm very excited about that. But um, since Luxury Promise, our headquarters are in London. It's a London operating company at the end of the day. So when you check out, it will show in pounds. Um, as I'm showing items, as you can see the comment that is pinned, I've already done the rough um, conversion for you. Um, <clears throat> I've done the rough conversion for you. So, oh my god, my, I'm having a brain fart. But if it's something I haven't shown yet, let me know and I can just put it in the chat so you know the USD price. But also you can just use Google currency converter. So if you Google GBP to USD, you can plug in the GBP and pull it up that way as well. And green lady, I don't have a green lady Dijoy today. Negative. I have a green Chanel mini flap, but not a D-Joy in today's show. Um, Mel, that piece, I don't have it pulled for this show. I'm going to put my email in the chat. I feel like there's a lot of requests for items I don't have on hand right now. So if you guys are after anything specific, please shoot me. Um, <laughs> Nilsa, I applaud you for that. It's like, it's such a lifesaver. All right, I'm going to put my email so you guys can shoot me an email, remind me the request of the pieces you're after because I won't be able to grab anything outside of what's in the handbag icon for today's show during the show. So shoot me an email. Keeping in mind, I do fly to California tomorrow and I'll be there through Tuesday. So I'll be back in the office on Wednesday and then I can help show you those pieces if that's okay, you guys. <laughs> uh, R wants to see Louis person black. You guys, these requests are throwing me for a curveball. I don't have any black Louis Vuitton bags today are. So also shoot me an email, please, if you don't mind. Oh, the wallet, the wallet. Yeah, I'll do that one next. Let me do this bag first, and then I'll do the wallet for you. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I digress. Hopefully I'm helpful, you guys. Sorry, I am a one-man show today without a moderator. So doing everything right and solo. So I hope I'm helpful enough. <laughs> okay. So up next is the Alma BB in the color Dragon Fruit in Epi Leather. I love this. It comes with its box, clochette, dust bag, lock, care booklet key, and the strap. So just missing the receipt. Other than that, this is a true full set. This is for my pink girlies. I couldn't resist including it today. Look at her. I am obsessed with this color. So they call it Dragon Fruit, which I think is the perfect name. It literally looks like a dragon fruit smoothie so it's not like a true hot pink it's a little bit more dark but it also is still quite vivid so just a hundred percent let's call her dragon fruit all the way paired with silver hardware this is too good 
Isn't this crazy, Cherry? I love this color. Condition is excellent. Exterior is giving fresh. It's giving shiny. It's giving the leather is glowy. She is looking real, real good. And then you get this removable matching, super cute, pink dragon fruit tone, burgundy canvas strap. It is double-sided. So the front has Louis Vuitton all over it. Whereas the flip side, you're just going to have little monogram florette detailing into the strap. So I'll show this as a crossbody. I really love this so much. I'm a sucker for an Alma BB. Because they look like small bags, they read as a mini bag, but you can actually fit so much inside of them. They're still quite a practical bag to go for. So to the front of this as well, with all things Epi Louis Vuitton, you just get one little LV that is embossed into the Epi leather, usually in the front corner. So let's dive inside. So you can see dust bag included. It is a monochromatic piece. It looks like there's one little stain surface level to the bottom there, as you guys can see. So that's really going to be our only condition call out on this piece. Other than that, she is looking excellent. So overall, I'll probably give this like an 8.9 out of 10 condition level, but it is coming as its full set. And it's just a really special piece in a really killer color so if you guys are interested this one is up and available for 1785 pounds and that is roughly 2257 us dollars for her and her set i love this one okay so we had a request for the black wallet from r so let me show that to you next So this wallet retails from Louis Vuitton for 730 US dollars, so some good savings there. I had a black um, monogram on prompt wallet from Louis Vuitton, like, I think two weeks ago, but it was the long version, and a lot of you guys were requesting the compact smaller option, so I did just happen to get this in. So this is the black on prompt leather Victorine wallet from Louis Vuitton. <clears throat> so it's a pebbled leather. That is kind of softer in nature but still quite durable but instead of having the monogram printed on or painted on it is actually embossed into the pebble leather giving you a really cool textured effect and a sleek monochromatic look so this one is paired with a gold hardware button to the front upon opening opens up like a trifold and stands upright this way so you have your inner gold louis vuitton logo See, it shouldn't. The retail on the Alma, let me see. Alma. The US, so I am in the USA, so I'm working off of USA prices. So the USA price for that Alma with the special strap is 2,370 US dollars. So I am priced just below that. I know the retail does vary from the brands it shows. Let me look. Let's see here. Um where are you seeing that because i have the product pulled up and in the description it does say that retail is 2370 us dollars but yeah it is the strap the strap is special so you can get the epi almas from louis vuitton without the canvas strap for cheaper you are totally correct there but because that one has the strap that would be factored in but for sure 100 percent price below retail by usa standards since i'm in the usa i triple checked before i went live so i know <laughs> But thank you for pointing out but yeah that would explain it okay back to our wallet so you have the gold louis vuitton to the center three card holders on both of these sides with little hidden pockets for more cards or receipts behind it and then you of course get a big cash pocket once the item is opened up like so 
And then you also get a cutie baby little zippy coin pouch with black leather lining in there. So this piece again, at most lightly pre-loved, but it looks to be in excellent condition. So I would give this like a nine out of 10 overall. And again, about 130 ish dollars below retail, a little bit more when you factor in the tax if you paid it for it in retail. And actually you guys, um, absolutely Ivana, I'll do that one next for you. But I did just receive a huge box of extra Louis Vuitton boxes. So on any of my wallets or any of my Louis Vuitton bags today that don't come with a box, I have extra boxes. So I will make sure to include a Louis Vuitton box for you with this. So this little wallet was requested by, who was that? R. R, let me know if there's any other questions. Definitely would recommend going for it if you're thinking about it. It is up and available for 480 pounds. And that is roughly 600 and we'll round up seven US dollars. So that is her. All right, I'm glad you requested the Celine because I love Celine. I love an all black moment from Celine. So let's do that next for Ivana. Yay. And again, this is a real steal compared to retail, especially for this size. So I know the year on this, this is a piece from 2014 from Celine. If you guys have not heard, Celine is discontinuing this model of bag. Um, now remind me which one. <laughs> Let me scroll up, just need to refresh my brain. You are after, oh, the CC necklace. It, um, off the top of my head, I think it's either ruthenium or silver hardware. Yes, but okay, now I know what my confusion is. So I had a bunch of Chanel jewelry here a few months ago before a special big Chanel jewelry show that happened in London. I did ship all of my Chanel pieces to Sabrina in London. So I think I'm 99% sure that that piece is now in London. I remember it vividly and I actually remember packing it with all of the jewelry. <laughs> So my brain works at least. I am fully remembering the piece and its whereabouts, but it was ruthenium hardware. It had CCs in ruthenium and it had like translucent purple and kind of like just a lot of shades of purple in the beads. So I can put you in contact with the London team and they can send you over pictures, videos, literally whatever you need. Okay, hope that helps. <laughs> so this is our black drummed calfskin micro luggage tote from Celine, circa 2014. OG it girl bag. This bag was all the rage when I started obsessing over fashion on the internet. Like I was a diehard fashion blogger on Tumblr during this era, during this year, my pleasure, Mel. Um, and she is that girl. I just, I love this bag. To me, I think it's timeless. A lot of people associate it with the mid 2000s, but I still see people carrying this bag literally daily here in New York City. It definitely gives off timeless, classic, quiet luxury. It is to me a quiet luxury bag. The logo is quite small. It's in a unique shape where Celine lovers and luxury lovers will recognize it, but the average Joe on the street won't necessarily look at it and be like, oh, the brand's all over. I know what that is. It is a little bit more subdued, which I appreciate. A lot of times this bag will come in like a tri-color or a lot of different materials. So I really love when you get one in that's just all one color, especially in black. Definitely gives me Mary Kate and Ashley cool girl vibes. So exterior condition, let me just look at the bot. Wow, okay. There's still one seal hanging onto the foot, but you get four feet to protect the bottom leather. Bottom leather looks spotless, no scratches or dents. Looking at our corners, no corner wear. One thing I find about the luggage shows from Celine is the craftsmanship is so good on them. Like. Again, keeping in mind, this is literally a 10 year old bag. It does not look like a 10 year old bag. It looks in excellent condition. So you get the silver Celine logo to the front here. This pocket is functional, but most people that I know that have this bag don't really use it. It is kind of more of just like a little design detail, but you can put a card or two in there. Um, it does have a top zip, so it is a nice secure bag. So I'll show you the interior. So the interior is lined with black suede. 
So you can tell a little bit of light signs of wear. I wouldn't necessarily call it any staining though. It's just suede so the fibers do catch the motion of the last time there was something in them. But you have two... <gasps> Moira! I know! I saw Sabrina post on her story that I was literally in the museum exhibit. I was like, oh my god, why did I... like? I'm still thinking about them. They're still here with me. Oh, <laughs> they're so special. I didn't realize too exactly how old they were until I saw them in that exhibit and I was like, oh my lord, like literally holy grail collector piece. It's crazy. So inside, oh wow, okay. It literally still has its Celine tag on it and Celine papers included in this bag. So overall, granted it's from 2014, I would give this like an eight out of 10 condition level. It looks really great, fully functional, no damage, just lightly pre-loved overall. So my Celine black micro luggage tote from 2014 is up and available for just 1,075 pounds. And that is 1,000, 300 and roughly 59 us dollars that is a fantastic price on this bag if you know you know especially the all leather version fetches quite a bit more and the retail was quite 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 a bit more so that is her yes ivana let me know if there's any questions anything i can help with but it's a really really great bag okay let me know if there are any other requests thus far you guys if not i'm just gonna keep pulling Let's do a really cute belt bag up next. I'll do a belt bag and then I'll follow it with a belt. <laughs> belt bag and a belt belt. Let's do it. Do, do, do. Let's see, let me just find, there we go. This is a really good deal too. Here we go. All right, so a piece I've never encountered before. Really, really cool. Adela, happy Thursday. How are you? Good to see you here. This is going to be our Chanel black and navy quilted patent leather CC double chain mini waist bag coming with its box, dust bag, and authenticity card. One of the cutest belt bags I have had in from Chanel. So it is a skinny black patent little belt. It is adjustable, I will measure it. But attached to the belt, you get not one, but two. Um, Adela, which one, lovely? Let me know which one. Two little baby patent patch pouches, that's a tongue twister, that hang off of the belt with a little baby chain. So one of them is navy, both with silver hardware, but this first one is navy and its sister right next to it is black. So if you wear a lot of black and navy, this one's for you. Ah, okay, the dummy bin. I'll recap that one next for you. So let's get a measurement on the belt for this. It looks to be quite adjustable, which is good. Let me grab my measuring tape real quick, you guys. Of course, Adela, my pleasure. So at its longest, let's see if I can finesse this. Actually, it's quite long. All right, longest it will go will be 36 inches, but you could add more holes to go a little bit larger, but 36 is the current maximum. And then the smallest it will currently go Actually, let me just measure the difference here and subtract. That will be easier. So 36, 29 to 36 inches is your size range on this little belt from Chanel. 29 to 36. And then you actually can put like cards or whatever you want in these mini pouches. So I'll show you the interior. I don't know. I'm just gonna wing it, no pun intended, on my flight. I'm gonna wear a mask so whoever sits next to me doesn't think I'm sick or will feel safer, but I'm not sick, I just have allergies. <laughs> All right, so inside it is just like a simple little card holder size on these little pouches, but they are in an excellent condition level, no signs of wear. <gasps> I'll show that one soon, Catherine. I haven't shown it yet, but good eye. It's a really, really cool piece. 
All right. And then the other pouch, the navy one, just to confirm. Oh, cool. It comes with its authenticity card. So it's a series 29 for this belt bag or belt bags, plural, I should say. <laughs> Definitely nine out of 10 condition level here coming as it's set. And then roughly to give you an idea of how it would look on, depending on how you wear it. So I would probably wear this over like a maxi dress personally. So you could have either both of the bags. Oops, I kind of messed up. There we go. <laughs> you could have both of the bags kind of like this over your hips, or you could wear it off to the side, one in the front, one in the back, just kind of play around with how you want it to sit. But I think it's really, really cool, unique piece from Chanel. So if you guys are interested, this is up and available for 2,230 pounds. And that is roughly 2,820 US dollars. Alrighty, so let me do a quick recap on the sack plat for Adela. Let's get the price up again, because the price is a steal, literally same price as a wallet for this bag. Let me find it. Yeah, the price is like unbelievable here. <laughs> Adela, I a thousand percent recommend this for the price. It's honestly in a really, really good condition level, all things considered, for what you're paying. So it's full on dummy Ben canvas from Louis Vuitton with smooth chocolate brown leather top handles, which are in excellent condition level, really no dullness or marks detected on them. So it is just a top handle, large shopping bag shaped bag from Louis Vuitton. Here's a look at the bottom. So the canvas is clean all over. There's very light indications of wear. Absolutely, Iman, I'll do a recap on that one for you up next. So very light corner wear, reflecting in the lower price point, but it's honestly very minor. I would expect more at this price. And then also for Adela, it has a totally clean interior. So nice, clean, red interior, fits any size laptop. You can actually fit so much in these bags. So it's a really great deal. A bag I feel like you would actually use quite a bit when you just need something a little larger that's still easy to carry. So Della, let me know if there are any other questions, anything I can help with, but I absolutely would recommend this piece for the price, a thousand percent. Okay, so let's do a quick recap for Iman and then I think I will show that green Chanel bag that the lovely Catherine mentioned. Did something. Let's see. Du, du, du. Oh, okay, that one Chanel necklace did sell. So congrats, I just saw that go through. <laughs> this feeling and the corners. What do you mean, Adela? I'll show you the corners up close again. I think it's very, very minor. Just on the very tips of the corners. This one looks fine. Honestly, this side is better. But I don't notice any peeling. There's no peeling detected. It's just a little bit of corner rub. I will flip camera to see if not showing it in the ring light will give you a better idea. So it's just a little dulled down. A little bit of dullness to those corners. But I definitely would not say it's peeling. All right, hope that helps, lovely. Let me see if I can find the date code on this too for you. Let us see here. Hmm. I always forget where they put it on this one. All right, I might have to circle back to finding that. Oh, here it is. Looks like, I think this piece is from 2008. 2008 is the year on this, I think. <laughs> it's kind of hard to read, like you'll see the date code is right here in the suede, but when they put the date code in the suede, it can kind of be a little bit tricky to read with the naked eye. But I think that's indicating 2008. Okay, so let's do a recap on the saddle belt for the lovely Iman. Iman, this piece is literally pristine. 
and so below retail. It retails for three thousand five hundred U.S. dollars, and I have it for below two thousand U.S. dollars. So let me get this pinned and the price back up for you. this deal is actually insane so you can wear it multiple ways for the lovely iman um thank you cherry yes so confirming a thousand percent that sack flat is indeed from 2008 see my eyes didn't fail me there i'm proud <laughs> so iman you can either wear this as like a sling crossbody moment i feel like you could even get away with it on the shoulder but you also can adjust it it's a fully adjustable canvas strap so you can adjust this to be a waist bag as well which i think would look really cool especially like over a trench coat to cinch in your waist and add a little extra pizzazz <laughs> i think would look amazing but it is full monogram oblique canvas for the exterior there's accents of pebbled navy leather of course but the exterior of this is absolutely pristine you get a pop of leather to the side as well yes absolutely i can demonstrate for you too let me grab the phone could fit like four phones in here <laughs> so you actually get a secret little pocket to the front before i show you the main interior i think this is so cute so you can see the top flap is in the shape of a saddle but then you also get this extra little leather pocket obviously in the shape of a saddle so you can pull the little leather stirrup through if you will and then you get this secret little zip pocket which i think is super duper cute it would fit just like some cards in there but the main compartment so you open it up you have a full pebbled leather inner flap comes with its dust bag and then it is just one pocket for the interior but it is nice and sizable so here it's kind of like a standard size iphone and inside of the bag you can see so you could even fit an iphone plus in here easily have about like two inches of extra room and then all of this room in front of the phone so phone wallet keys headphone lip gloss mascara a little perfume i think easily would fit inside of this so let me know if there are any other questions iman i think it's a real real steal of a deal on this piece and it's in a really good condition level so definitely would recommend here to help with any questions you may have but definitely a piece i would actually fully consider if i were you if you love it if you need something like this and if this kind of cool I don't want to call it edgy, but it is just a little bit more current, edgy, and cool. I don't know. So if that appeals to you, if that's your style and you want to play around with styling it, a thousand percent go for it. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay, I think I'm caught up on requests, you guys. Let me know if there are any other requests. Yes, absolutely, Catherine. I got you, girl. Let's do it. This is so good. So I did, the price might show up when I, um, in the handbag icon as higher. I did slash the price a little bit before the show. So this is the actual price. 5930 is the actual price for this. I am over the moon obsessed with this bag. Again, today was supposed to be neutrals, but this and the Alma were just too good for me not to include. So this piece is a mini flat bag from chanel in green caviar and it is the sweetheart bag so it's a limited release limited edition piece from chanel coming with box dust bag gift ribbon and care booklet look at this color this is my favorite green it is more like teal i will definitely agree with you there chanel calls it green honestly it kind of is giving like jade jade or emerald more jade more jade than emerald i would say mary yes i can do a recap on that lady dior for you momentarily but this is look at this color oh my gosh paired with look at oh my god i just noticed this on the cc let me flip the camera oh my god this is the cutest mini i've had you get a little love heart oh my goodness I wouldn't call it seafoam. Seafoam's gonna be a lot lighter. What do I have in here? Okay, my scissors, this is weird, but my scissors I would call a true seafoam green. 
So next to the bag, you can see that it's just a little bit darker to like a true sea foam. And again, it's in front of a bright ring light. So let me show you with the camera flipped as a color comparison. So here's the bag without the ring light with my scissors next to it. So definitely more darker, but it does definitely have a blue undertone. I'm trying to remember the, there's an Hermes color that I'm blinking the name on, but I've had Hermes, like I've had a Birkin in a color that looked just like this before. I'm blinking on it, but Farah bought it. It's Farah's Birkin. So if you guys know Farah, <laughs> she has a Birkin that is a similar color to this, but absolutely. So it's called the Sweetheart Bag, not only because you get the heart on the CC, but also the chain is adjustable via this little love heart with the CC. So you can push down on the CC and pull it to, no pun intended, your heart's desire. <laughs> so if you want it to be a crossbody, I mean, it can go long. It can go real, real long. I'll show you at its longest. Absolutely, Moira. I'll still show you the interior too, but that is as long as it can go. So if you are a very tall supermodel girly, this is a great crossbody for you. But also if you're on the shorter side, if you're under five feet even, you can adjust it literally to any length. I would probably keep it like this. And then I love that that allows the little love heart to be visible atop of what, oh, look how cute this is. She's too cute. This one's too good. Okay, <laughs> let me show you the interior. Exterior is absolutely pristine. No signs of wear. This is a true, 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 true pristine exterior condition on this bad boy. So let's dive inside. Top flap, underneath the flap. Looks like just a little bit, this would easily come out just from the flap being on it for so long. It's just been kept in its box. A little bit of a crease there, but it will come right out. And then this is a microchip piece. So here is your microchip to the interior and it is lined with leather with one inner zip pocket. So overall, she's getting like a 9.9 .9 out of 10 condition level for me. Coming as it's set, one of the most beautiful colored minis I have had in. Period, the end, and the love hearts are just the cherry on top. So it is up and available for 5,930 pounds, and that is roughly 7,498 US dollars. All right, so it was, who wanted the Lady Dior? Mary. Mary up next. I will recap that Lady Dior for you. Still lots more new bags to come to you guys. We're already at the hour mark, so I'm going to move quick because I want to show you guys everything today. Um, and this also is my last show before my trip. Just FYI. So it's now or never because these pieces likely, I feel like it's very probable that most of them will be gone, will be sold by the time I'm back from my trip. So, this is a vintage, I called it like a biscuit color with gold hardware, large Lady Dior in patent leather. Price is silly on this. I've never had a large Lady Dior for this price point. And she's in a very, very, very good vintage condition level. So there's no color transfer, no cracking, no bubbling, no issues to the patent, even the bottom, you have your five feet. And then earlier I looked over the corners, looking over again, no corner scuffing, nothing on these corners. Again, keeping in mind, this is the true vintage Lady Dior. So the only thing exterior wise, it's just predictable. It is like, I would be shocked if it didn't have this, but just some standard minor hairline scratches to the hardware is really the only thing to call out for this exterior and it's why the price point is lower it's also missing its long strap but also that's resulting in a much lower price point for you so you can always buy a new strap you can buy any strap in the world but to me the bag is where it matters and if you can get a deal on a lady dior like this i am all for it so it is the old school model so that indicates that you have a zip top with your cd gold charm zip pull so let me show you the interior real quick. It has a spotless interior, no stains, no smells. And it's kind of like a gold toned neutral colored canvas with the Dior monogram oblique print 
all over but you can see there's no stains no issues this, i'm honestly shocked that this is still here and didn't immediately fly out i love this color i think it's such a gorgeous neutral lady dior just a really elegant bag so that was a quick little recap on her 1450 pounds that is roughly 1833 us dollars way 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 below retail <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to stuff her back up and let's bring out some more new pieces. Let me know if there are any other requests, you guys. What do I want to show you next? Oh, I have this. I This is one of my top requested Louis Vuitton bags. Um, and this one is well below retail. This is a really good one. So let me show you this next. So I did get in a new Felici pochette from Louis Vuitton coming with box dust bag receipt and it's removable strap of course so this is a true full set on this bad boy. It's a neutral taupey color of epi leather paired with gold hardware so you can see that the strap is removable but it is the new school version of epi leather again you get the LV to the corner here gold front button strap good size you can fit a phone but it is a smaller sized bag overall here's your edges bottom and corners and then the back of the bag so really nice exterior condition you have a dainty gold chain length crossbody strap on this but also you can remove the strap turn it into a clutch i think let me check if something just sold our sack plat has found its home i am thrilled that was an amazing amazing deal this will be shipping out tomorrow for you thank you so so much let me know once you receive it if i hyped it up good enough because this is such a good bag for the price points i'm gonna start a little sold pile off to the side it will be on its way to you soon and thank you thank you thank you so so much yay amazing okay Okay, <laughs> so here is how the Felici is looking as a crossbody. Again, this is one of the most common quiet luxury bags I see in New York City, especially a color like this if you opt for it, not in the monogram version. Again, from a distance, no one's really gonna know that you're carrying Louis Vuitton. It is a little bit of a safer choice to make for like city wearing, you know? <laughs> Adela, thank you, lovely. All right, but let me show you where the real bread and butter is occurring in this piece so upon opening you're met with the same kind of color interior but you actually get basically two small leather goods included with the bag so i'm going to show you the main compartment of the bag before i talk you through these two guys that come with it so the main compartment big enough to fit any size phone all suede lining looks like one two little pink marks right here so some very minor stains to this interior and then you have one open concept pocket too to the back so just very minor stains right there but then it also comes with so you can keep these inside of the bag to make it function more like a wallet on chain or you can use them separately but they do come with so the first extra bit you get is this taiga leather card organizer so you have eight card holders the back is just all taiga leather and then it does open up in the middle so it fits perfectly inside the bag but that is the first slg it comes with and then on top of that you get a matching epi leather removable zip pouch so again use it separately keep them together the world is your oyster do what you want to do but they all will come together as one so this pouch looks like just one black mark there so overall more of like an 8 out of 10 condition level just for those tiny little marks. And again, I will demonstrate putting it inside. So you can put your card holder, perfect fit, and your zip pouch, perfect fit. And even with both of those inside of there, you still have plenty of room for your phone and other bits and pieces. So it's coming as a set 
all the way down to its retail receipt. I have it up and available for 1,165 pounds, and that is 1,473 US dollars. Guys, I'm surprised no one has requested this vintage caviar neutral tote yet. That will be coming up soon. I'm gonna hit you with another deal first though. Let's do, let's pivot over to Gucci. Also, did you guys see that Alessandro has officially been crowned the new creative director for Valentino? That news broke today. I am so excited about it. I personally love everything that Alessandro did for Gucci. I love his artistic vision. I love what he did for Gucci. It was a radically different approach to what Gucci historically has represented, but I, I ate it up. I loved everything he did, all of his runway shows. I loved it. Call me crazy, I loved it. So I'm excited to see what he will do with Valentino. So we will see, but I'm so happy about it. Okay. Anyways, I digress. What was I gonna do? Ah uh, yes, a little Gucci. Gucci moment for a great price. So this retails for 1,650 US dollars. I have it for below 1,000 US dollars. This is our navy Gucci Supreme Canvas, Supreme Canvas, aka it's coated canvas, so just a bit more durable long wearing so it is our navy beige gg supreme dionysus chain wallet so again functioning like a wallet on chain but definitely larger than like a chanel wallet on chain would be in regards to its height it's more closer to a square shape but you can fit a lot inside of here but so you get this gucci print the dionysus like little tiger hardware head signature piece again from alessandro for gucci here is the back this is in an excellent exterior condition and this is a piece that will last you literally a lifetime just from the you know, materials and quality of the make of it i love the kind of more ruthenium toned hardware that you get so this will be a crossbody but of course you could double up the chain under the flap and wear it as a shoulder bag if you want but when you have it on ooh, this looks good with my outfit i really like the vibes okay so it's just a really nice simple easy to style piece from Gucci. Good again for running around city every day, grab and go type of bag. So I will open her up for you. Here we go. <laughs> the exterior is in pristine condition. You are able to remove the strap as well. So if you wanted to either add your own or just wear it as a clutch or have it as an organizer, you absolutely can. But you have pebbled navy leather to the interior and it actually opens up to be huge. There's so many compartments and storage opportunities inside so it's kind of like the mecca of all wallet on chains if you will so let's start at the back you have eight card holders with another back pocket fabric lining for this main interior here another fabric lined compartment here a zip pocket also lined with fabric here and then your front pocket which mirrors the back with eight more card holders and you guessed it one more pocket so if you are a organization freak like myself and you like to keep things separated everything has a place type of vibe if you will this is a great bag for you um coming with its dust bag and she is up and available for just 725 pounds and that is roughly 900 and we'll round up 17 us dollars a really good deal I think you'd get a heck of a lot of use out of this. Cost per wear is gonna be like nothing. I love it. I don't know if any of my huge girls are here. I think this is a great, great option that you'd probably reach for all the time. Okay. On that note, let's follow it with another. Actually, let's do this Louis Vuitton belt that I have. I almost forgot about it. This is a great size that I don't really get in that often. It retails for, let's see, 590. So by the time you pay tax, a little over 600 US dollars. Well, I have it in its little set. So you're getting the box dust bag and of course the gift ribbon with this, but this is our um, black monogram reversible LV initials 40 millimeter belt. So, this is suitable for 
up to 105 centimeters or 42 inches for the size of this belt and you are able to wear it two ways so again cost per wear very good purchase so this first way you have the gold lv buckle and then this whole front side is all just classic louis vuitton monogram but you are able to take the buckle off flip it to the other side if you want something a little bit less logo mania a little bit more quiet if you will the other side is going to be smooth black leather all the way around so just to get an idea of the width for this piece look a little something like that really really cute so coming as it's said just short and sweet in case anyone needs a bell and the size works for you it is up and available for 395 pounds that is roughly we'll round up 500 us dollars <laughs> all right I'll put her back let me know if there are any requests you guys i will be live for probably the next like 30 minutes i do need to wrap up a little bit early just so i can put everything back and leave the office clean before i head out for my trip so keeping that in mind i might take you guys off of the ring light real quick and walk you through all the shelves so you can really see everything so we have the lady dior i have two pristine YSL bags, literally retail tags still on. So if I have any YSL girlies, good options for you. I have a old school OG model of the Pochette Matisse from Louis Vuitton, steel of a deal Fendi crossbody. If anyone needs a classic caviar gold hardware moment, I got you. We talked through this beautiful green moment. Look at this itty bitty baby dummy Azor Louis Vuitton backpack that I have too look at this gray caviar and suede gold hardware chanel flat bag maybe we do her next she's immaculate also this really cute pastel yellow top handle here's all my leather goods or small leather goods gucci long wallet full set i have a louis vuitton sarah wallet this little guy and a little lv pouch shocked no one has asked about this yet beige caviar vintage 24k gold hardware large tote amazing also this fendi black leather gold hardware crossbody we had our celine also have a large more current version of the gucci jackie in cream getting that crazy deal on this brown chanel bowler bag i have this really cool chevron multi-material boy bag are the yours this guy my favorite the chanel belt bag over there and of course the dragon fruit with the special matching strap louis vuitton epi alma so let me know if there's any requests if not i'm just gonna keep pulling stuff and showing it to you guys i want to do this gray chanel bag up next probably let me take a quick sip of water <laughs> next is going to be our gray quilted caviar and suede coco flap bag from chanel it is coming with its box i think i have a spare dust bag if it doesn't oh no box dust bag and authenticity card all included with this next bag this bag heavily reminds me of sophie i think she would be all over it so without further ado let's really soak this one in because it's so good are we ready look hello at this oh my goodness so your whole back of the bag is done in gray caviar it's a cool toned very soft gray then you have this top flap also done in caviar leather the cc has like raised up caviar leather but underneath the top flap you are getting the softest fiona absolutely i'll do that one next for you super super soft super plush gray suede 
underneath your top flap. So the bottom, all gray suede with piping detailing. I just think this is stunning. Really love this hardware attachment too where you get the CC. It's so good. So on the shoulder, just to give you another idea, that's how she looks. But of course, as you could probably guess, you are able to pull the strap through to wear her crossbody. And it will be a longer cross. Again, I'm five foot six for height reference. Isn't this one special, Moira? I've never had a like caviar suede combo flap in. I'm really loving it, especially how the CC looks and the hardware gold bar that you get to the top flap is just really polished. So let's dive inside. Super secure magnetic closure. If you guys saw me struggle, but the inner top flap is going to be all caviar. I want you to keep in mind, this is not staining. This is absolutely normal. The fibers of suede change their color depending how you touch it. So there's no stains. That's just the nature of the material. And then you do have a little bit of a mark of the CC, but that's just from it always touching that suede. So completely normal. I wouldn't call it signs of wear. It's just the nature of suede. So let me unstuff this real quick. Hard card included, box and dust bag. And this actually has three compartments. So again, it opens up kind of accordion style. Front pocket is just going to be all gray canvas lining. Same with your middle pocket. And then the back, you have one inner Chanel logo pocket and your hard card. This is a series 26. Absolutely, Sammy. I have a request for the Gucci Jackie first, and then I'll do a recap on that one for you. I got you. All right, so this bag, I would definitely give 9 out of 10 condition level. Coming as it's set, it is beautiful. It is unique. But again, it's a really great neutral piece. If you wear a lot of grays, just very easy to style. So she's up and available for 3,715 pounds. And that is roughly 4,697 US dollars. Okay. So next request was for a Z Gucci Jackie. Let's bring her out. Gonna get it pinned in the price up for you. Let's see here. My bad, it's called the Aphrodite, but it is very much so Gucci Jackie inspired. My brain just immediately calls it a Jackie. That is my bad. Okay, let me grab her. So it is quite a large size, but an easy bag to carry. You can wear it two ways. So right now it has the strap extender on it, which allows you to wear it crossbody. Really cool, oversized, that was comfortable and compact, kind of slouchy hobo bag vibe to it. But you also are able to remove the strap extender. And when you do so, the strap then becomes about that length to allow you to wear it as just a everyday shoulder bag too. So two ways to wear it. Um, absolutely, BH. So this one, then a recap request for the green Chanel, and then I will do this tote up next. All right, so. This is all cream toned leather, brush gold hardware with the current interlocking GG motif right there. You also get the made in Italy Gucci on the strap here. Exterior is totally clean for this leather. And then here are your corners, the bottom piping. To me, it looks unworn. There's no indications of wear to the exterior. I even like the vibe of having the long strap on, but then just carrying it on your shoulder. Really cool. So let's dive inside. The front interlocking GG is just a magnet style closure. So you just flip that up. It comes with its dust bag. Oh my gosh. And if you wanted another length, it has another additional strap. So you can really get creative and play around with what straps you want to add or take off to have a custom length of the strap. Okay, we have quite the queue going. So the queue is the green then this and then the yellow if i forget remind me you guys but i will try my best to remember and i love the request so thank you thank you this has a nice pristine interior all suede in a creamy beige color no signs of wear it honestly even smells new and then you have retail tag 
all of the Gucci papers you could ever desire are inside this bag as well. So this is getting a true excellent like 9.5 easy out of 10 condition level from me. Let me know if there's any other questions on this one, but it is up and available for 1,785 pounds. That is 2,257 US dollars. That was her. Okay. So next request was the green Chanel and then this and then the yellow. See, I'm good. I remember. All right. So for the sweetheart, it was pristine condition, unworn, comes as it's set. So I kind of described it as almost like a jade color. Of course, Maria. Becky. Who requested this one again? Am I imagining? Wait. Wait a minute. <laughs> Did someone request this one? Green Chanel. It was Sammy. Okay, yes, yeah, sorry. I thought I was losing my mind for a second there. <laughs> so this is a mini single flat bag seasonal it was a limited drop that features love heart details this allows you to have a fully customized length on this chain strap so you could go super duper short with it if you want super long with it if you want but you use this heart with the cc to adjust and then on the front cc if you can see right here there's also a little baby 3d heart put on that gold cc there i think it is just stupid cute if I can say that sorry but literally like it's too cute it's in pristine condition so no signs of wear anywhere to the exterior on the shoulder would look like this but also when you have it crossbody this is my favorite part when you're carrying it crossbody if you adjust it like this then your little love heart with the CC will be visible on your upper torso, which is a really cute little detail. So I'll show you the inside real quick. Opening it up, all caviar inside for your top flap. Nice and clean. Uh, absolutely, Nazish, remind me, I have two other bags in the queue that were requested and then I'll do that one for you. And then this is a microchip bag. So you see your microchip there. Monochromatic with a leather lining. So that is this little guy. Let me know if there's any questions. Price is currently pinned on this. So next request was this, then the yellow, and then the Fendi. And then after that, I might have to call solid recaps because time is flying by today, you guys. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> All right. Well, let's bring out the vintage big guns up next. Really good price on this one too, for what it is. Okay, here we go. So next, we have a Karl Lagerfeld era vintage Chanel 24K gold hardware CC vintage beige quilted caviar chain tote. This is sickening. This is arguably the most coveted color to have from this era of Chanel. I think the beige toned of the caviar with 24K gold hardware typically commands the highest premium and typically is the most sought after even above black I would say for as far as Chanel collectors go this is what I notice most girlies are after but this is a more unique shape okay it's not like a jumbo single flap or anything this is a really cool shopper tote but it's still super classy sophisticated and the quality is a1 because you're getting vintage caviar and 24k gold hardware so the straps aren't adjustable, it's just two like shoulder bag length 24k gold hardware straps. The diamante stitching is kind of larger than your standard Chanel bag would be, but that makes sense because this is a larger bag. The turn lock is functional, we'll dive into that middle compartment momentarily, but you do have an open concept leather lined front and also back pocket on this bad boy. 
which is awesome. There is one tiny little dark mark out right there. I feel like you could easily get that off. Doesn't seem like it's anything permanent, so just taking it to the cobbler or watching YouTube videos on how to clean caviar leather, I think it would be an easy fix. But here is the side, the bottom. Really nice clean bottom with like no damage or anything. Um, Beeves, let me experiment. I don't see why not. Let's do an experiment. So hypothetically, let's put it around and we will pull it this way, all the way. Your answer is yes. <gasps> Beebs, you are a mastermind. So all things considered, I'm like a US size two. So it might be a little bit loose unless I have a sweater on or it would just be low rise, honestly, on me. Um, but since the chain is fully adjustable, I think this would work if you were a US size two or like literally anything beyond that, you can absolutely wear this as a belt bag. That is a genius idea. Beebs, you're an icon for that. That just makes it so much better as if it already wasn't amazing. It just got more amazing. So thank you for that. The color is seriously, I would say like top three best Chanel colors I've ever had in. I am really in love with this. And I'm not even a green girly. I don't really own green clothes or anything green, but I would buy this in a heartbeat. No pun intended again, because it has hearts on it. <laughs> okay, so back to our vintage girly pop. I'm just looking at the corners. Only one out of four corners has a mark. So there's one little dark mark just on one out of the four corners. So let's open up our turn lock. 24K, it does have some hairline scratches, but again, keep in mind, this is a true vintage piece that is quite normal. So upon opening, let me unstuff this. It comes with its OG Chanel dust bag, which is really cool. I'm gonna try to find, I'm like really curious about the year. <gasps> Ooh, it has a bonus. This actually helps the value of the piece. This is a series three, three series, and it still comes with its booklet. So that is like striking gold with vintage bags is when you have these two things. So that is amazing. Okay, here's an overview of your main interior. I feel like you could easily fit a MacBook in here, no issues. So it's all lambskin leather lining couple of scuffs to the leather but again it's a three series so I'm not really mad about that it's kind of to be expected the two side pockets are fabric lined and again your booklet and your hard card is inside so overall I would give this a very good vintage condition level maybe around like a 7.9 I want to give it an 8 because it looks amazing but to be fair I'll give it a 7.9 out of 10 it's a really rare really collectible piece dust bag authenticity card and little booklet is all included so this is up and available for 3265 pounds and that is 4100 and roughly 28 us dollars okay so our next request is the yellow top handle and then after that the black fendi and then after that i'll be calling recaps probably we'll see how we are on time <laughs> All right, but let me get this pinned and the price up. It's actually a really great price on this piece too. Okay. So up next, I'm bringing you a pastel muted yellow caviar mini cocoa top handle bag coming with box dust bag gift ribbon care booklet and of course the removable strap i love that the long strap is removable on this model so here she is this is such a perfect easter time springtime bag too oh, i love this one so it is full on caviar leather champagne gold hardware i'm just giving you a little 360. so cute i honestly prefer I'm the type of girly where I prefer just carrying this as a top handle because I just love the kind of vintage posh vibes that that gives. But the strap is removable. You have lobster clasps that attach here on the top hardware. And that does allow you to wear this as either a high cross or a long shoulder bag. So again, I'm five foot six for height reference, kind of the French girl length of a crossbody. Looks super cute on as a crossbody though, if I do say so myself. 
but you also can just wear it as a long um, shoulder bag as another option like so really good color of yellow it's not too vivid but also not too pastel it's just like a perfect easter yellow i really don't know how else to describe it bottom of the bag is all caviar you have four feet light hairline scratches to the feet but overall clean bottom looking at the corners corners have a little bit of dark marks happening to them reflected in the price point but a little bit of dark marks happening on the points of the corners also where the um top little attachment of the clasp goes it has left a little bit of dark mark it does hide it when it's laying over it but that has been left there so this is a pre-loved piece technically speaking all things considered still super duper duper cutie so let's dive inside upon opening you're met with a full caviar leather top flap and then this actually has multiple compartments so this is a microchip bag more current season you have this front main area all leather lining there split down the middle with another pocket here then you have a more compact back area that has your zip pocket back there so just for the corner rub and a little bit of wear to the top again i'd probably give this more of like a 7.9 out of 10 condition level but it comes as its full set again i don't even want to start talking about the recent chanel price increase you guys I don't want to get into that, but to all things considered, Chanel pricing with LP is the way to go. Yeah. Retail is insane now. So this is up and available for £4,915, and that is roughly $6,215 US dollars. All right, so next request is the Black Fendi crossbody. So let's go there next. Really good price on this too. Get it up. Let's see. Okay. Awesome. So it's been a minute since I've had like super sleek, sophisticated pieces like this from Fendi in. So I'm really loving this option. This is technically a wallet on chain, but kind of just like a smaller crossbody from Fendi done in a smooth black leather. There is a couple dents I'm noticing, but again, dents on a leather like this, if you just take the time to sit down five minutes a day and just gently massage the leather, I know that sounds weird, but it works. It's the remedy. So if you just, while you're watching TV, kind of rub the leather, eventually that will go away. It just has to get work itself out. But another good thing about this, I mean, the back looks great, is that this is a super easy bag to just take a little bit of black leather polish, like for this little bit of a mark here. If you just hit that with a little bit of black leather polish all over, it'll even it out. But you get the F, upside down F, as your front hardware. Let's look at the sides. And then you get a removable gold crossbody. So again, you can definitely wear this as a clutch or play around with adding different styles of straps. But again, five foot six, so here is how this is falling on me as a crossbody. Oh, sorry guys, my allergies are creeping up on me yet again. <laughs> so we'll open it up. I love the envelope style cut to this front flap. So magnetic little button snap to open. Again, you can see where you can remove the strap up here. Yes, I will show you, Najish. with its dust bag definitely will fit an ipro mac or iphone pro max this is a standard size iphone but it looks to have about two and a half inches of extra space above the standard being in here like you can see there's a big amount of space from a standard size iphone so i say a hundred percent pro max would fit in here and then inside you have a back pocket and in front of that you have eight card holders again giving the name wallet on chain <laughs> then you have the main compartment which we saw fits any size phone easily phone long wallet keys just all your daily essentials easy fit inside of here then you also get a front zip pocket as well and that's where your inner Fendi logo is living so overall for this one I'd probably give it like an eight 
out of 10. Condition level, again, easy fix to just rub out that one little dent to the front. Great bag, great price on this too. So if you are interested, this piece is up and available for 820 pounds. And that is roughly 1037 we will round up US dollars for this. All right. I am going to call final recaps right at 545, you guys. So let me know anything else you guys want to see. Click on the handbag icon below. Scroll through. Let me know if anything catches your eye from now until 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If any orders come through, I will make sure that they ship out tomorrow and your customs and duties are so covered, even if I end the show early. I'm just personally a little stressed because, again, it's my last day in the office until next Wednesday as I will be traveling. So I need to put the office together nice and beautifully, put everything away nice and beautifully so I can leave with a clear mind, you know? <laughs> Thank you, Shirley. Oh, my God. Have fun in Vegas. Are you the Chanel tote? Let me know. Confirm on the tote. I'll be happy to show you again. Also, guys, this Fendi little sling crossbody. You can do it as a belt bag, as a crossbody, whatever you want. It's such a good price. If anyone's into Fendi, this is another piece I would absolutely recommend. You can also rock it as a clutch with this little wrist strap, which is really cool. But I think this is under 600 pounds for this if anyone is interested. Just waiting for Aria to confirm that this is the toe indeed. So I also have a Celine toe and that Gucci could also be considered a tote. Um, Aria, let me give you my honest opinion. So the bag itself, it's a lot of caviar and it's a lot of gold to it. So it is on the kind of, I don't want to outright call it heavy, but it is of quality material, if you will. So it does have some weight to it. If you put the laptop inside, it would add extra weight, but I don't think it really would be uncomfortable to wear. Unless, of course, if you're wearing a tank top and you're letting these chains hit your shoulder skin with a laptop inside, it might dig in a little. Being totally honest with you, then it might dig in and be a little bit uncomfortable. But if you wear it over sweaters or t-shirts or just don't have it right on your skin, I think you should be okay. So it's just kind of a personal preference on how... <laughs> Maybe how strong you are. <laughs> Got you. Okay, for as a uni bag, in full, full honesty, because this would be absolutely beautiful, but as a semi-recent college grad, grad, not really that recent, I graduated in 2020. <laughs> Time flies. But I personally would feel better going for something like this. This Gucci bag, a lot more comfortable to carry because you have the thick leather strap. Nothing will really dig into you. You can customize it to be crossbody or a shoulder bag. You could fit laptop books, everything you need in here. Super chic. But I think if you're walking around campus pulling up to class, that this would definitely be more comfortable. But of course, it's not Chanel. I get it. <laughs> but if I were you picking from today's show, I would go with this just for comfort factor this to me is more of like a I don't know this would be more of like a running around the city is more of a collector's piece of course it's your bag you do what you want with it but I find that like I don't know I would be scared to take this to college and I wouldn't be scared to take that Gucci bag to college Aria I'd be happy to talk with you via email too so outside of the show, I can show you some more options if you're after like a really good uni bag. I have other options that would be better suited. Of course, Aria. I'm just thinking like I would get really over this being my college bag real fast just because it's not, not to say you can't do it, but me personally, I would rather have a thicker strap. Especially on your first day of classes <laughs> when you get handed your new books and all those new supplies. We need something a little more durable, a little bit more industrial for that purpose. So there's my email. All right, I'd love if you shoot me an email. I'll be getting back to emails next Wednesday. Again, you guys, I will be on vacation. I will be logged off, enjoying time with family, but I will be hitting the ground running, ready to work again next Wednesday. So there's my email if anyone needs it. Um, honestly, yeah, I think the Celine, the only thing with the Celine is if you put the laptop inside, actually it would fit a MacBook. This would fit a MacBook because it does extend out this way. So you could fit a MacBook in here. Honestly, yeah, I agree with Sasha. This and the Gucci 
would be a better college choice than the Chanel. The only thing with the Celine though is that you don't have the crossbody strap. So if you want a top handle, running around the class type of bag, this could also work for you. Alrighty guys, so we are calling final recaps because I gotta get cleaning, I gotta get all settled. <laughs> I have my email, but I'm gonna drop my email and my Instagram just in case you guys need to get in touch um, at luxurypromise.com and IG is at really Lux. Alright, so that is how you are best suited to contact me while i'm away again i'm gonna make sure the sack of plat ships out tomorrow i'm gonna make sure anything else purchased tonight ships out tomorrow but while i'm away just in case if you guys have any shipping questions or you just want an update on your order i want to tell you that isabel is also still on holiday so the entirety of us usa lp team myself and isabel we're both on holiday at the same time so that means that there is no one here <laughs> so anything usa order related anything like that, it's still going to be shipped out for you. I have my team members here that will be able to help with that. Um, however, if you're trying to inquire and you want a quicker response, I'm going to recommend that you guys email Nikos, our ops manager. So I'm going to put his email in the chat too, just in case you really need like an urgent response, an urgent answer on anything shipment related. He will be able to help you. If you're looking for sourcing help or just stuff more like that, don't email Nikos. Again, he's our operations manager. He's busy, busy, busy guy on back-end work tasks. So he's just going to be covering a little shipping stuff while Isabel is away for us here in USA. Um, anything related to inquiring about bags, like I said, I'll get back to you next Wednesday. And of course, you can email literally any of the other show hosts. We are live every single day from around the globe. All the girls are lovely. Everyone is absolutely willing to help no matter where they are in the world or where you are in the world. We all help each other out and try to help the whole community out the best that we can. So feel free to email anyone else while I'm away, but I will be checking everything next Wednesday. So you guys, thank you so much. Final call. I, again, if you check out from now to 6 p.m., I'll still make sure your customs and duties get covered. But thank you. I'm going to miss you guys. <laughs> so no jewelry show this weekend. I will be missing y'all, but I will be live next Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So I will still have three shows upon my arrival back in New York City. So I look forward to coming back, but I'm excited for some time off. It's been a minute, so really looking forward to it. Thank you guys for a great week. I appreciate you, and I will catch you around, okay? All these items will still be available live on the website, and yeah, I think that about covers it. So lots of love, happy Easter to everyone who celebrates, and I'll see you next week. Adios, guys.